Oh yeah, it's here. Let's check it out. Hey, what is up guys? Austin here, back with another video, and today we'll be taking a look at Periscope on Android. So a few months ago, Twitter launched Periscope on iOS, and for those who don't know what Periscope is, it is basically a live streaming application, so people from all across the globe can watch you do things live and in the moment, from feeding your cat to bungee jumping to whatever else you feel like filming that day. It's pretty sweet. Where Periscope on Android differs from its iOS counterpart, though, is in its design. Periscope on Android fully adopts Google's material design instead of just copying the iOS design like some other social medias like Instagram do. This makes that the app feel much more native and less like just a port from iOS. I actually think it looks much better on Android. The app has three pages, and the first and main page is where you can find everyone that you follow that is live. The second page is the global page where you can find everyone that is live from around the world. And the third page recommends people for you to follow and you can easily swipe between these pages which makes it super easy to navigate. You also have your floating action button at the bottom where you can start a broadcast and be live for everyone to watch. Overall I think I think Twitter did a great job designing this app and if you are not already on Periscope I definitely recommend you check it out. Alright guys that'll do it for this video and I just wanted to give you guys a quick overview of the app and since it just came out today. You can follow me on Periscope along with an assortment of other social medias that will be linked down right below that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you all in the next one. Later.